First person this week is slightly different because we have two guests in the studio. First, I'd like to introduce Eugene Young. You may remember his face. He ran for Wilmington mayor last year and is now the CEO of the Metropolitan Wilmington Urban League. We also have Elizabeth Lockman, director of PACE, short for Parent Advocacy Council for Education. Welcome. You for I struggled with your name because I said she's affectionately known as Tizzy. Tizzy. That's so right. I did not. Feel free to call me Tizzy. <laughs> okay, <fine>. okay. So, <laughs> but I want to start off with you, Eugene. Uh, let's talk about your focus as the new CEO. Wow, um, what a experience! Over about two weeks in, two weeks in a couple days, it's yes. been really exciting. Um, the main thing that we're working on is just fulfilling our mission, which is focused around this idea of um, working to support those of color and those who are most marginalized around issues of um, to help in, in regards to economic self-reliance, um, parity, power, and also civil rights. But we do that under this larger umbrella of advocacy and public policy. And we understand how important that is within our community today. So um, I'm excited about it. A lot of work to be done. Um, and I'm looking forward to partnering up with even more organizations like PACE and great people such as Tizzy in order to kind of move the needle forward. I understand education is another focus, right? Yes. And on October 2nd, the National Urban League and local affiliates, yeah. of course, mm -hmm. will launch a new education initiative called No Ceilings on Success. It's pretty much designed to address some institutional barriers. What are those barriers? Mm -hmm. So um, when it comes to No Ceilings to Success, it talks about this greater idea of barriers like the glass ceiling that prohibits people from moving forward when it comes to education. Um, and that can come with um, equity and um, quality teachers, um, also making sure that there's equity funding for schools um, in most need, um, and also finding ways to help people advocate around these issues that are nearest and dearest to them. So these are some of the things that we're working on, but we're working with, as I said earlier, like great organizations like PACE because they're already on the ground and doing this right now. And we understand that we have to have these common links between us if we really want to get any progress here in our state. Okay, and Tizzy, working on things like how? Well, so I'll tell you a little bit about PACE so you understand a little bit how we come at the issue. So PACE is an initiative at the Christina Cultural Arts Center. We're a long-standing community school of the arts in downtown Wilmington. Um, and PACE as an initiative has been around for several years and our approach to all the issues uh, that Eugene has mentioned and, and then some um, is really about meeting the community where they are and helping them grow their skills as advocates. So that means making sure they understand all the different ways that the system works, um, or in some cases does not work particularly effectively uh, to meet their needs as families um, in Wilmington. Uh, we, we just, we go over it, we go over, this is how funding works, this is how our schools are governed, um, and these are the ways that you can get organized and that you can participate fully in sort of that democratic process of uh, public education. What are you guys doing to train people to become advocates? Or how do you train people to become it's a, advocates? It, you know, there's short term and long term ways to do that. Uh, with PACE, we have a twice annual uh, workshop cohorts that we call together in uh, sort of the early fall and then the late winter. And we just do that on site at, at Christina. Um, and it's, it's kind of a fun fellowship support group in some ways. But mm -hmm. then, you know, we get give people an opportunity to think about their own stories as being educated, trying to get their children educated, uh, but then also learn like the concrete, concrete stuff about um, just the way the system works and how they can raise their voices to influence it and that okay. they have a right to do that. Okay, uh, really quick before uh, we finish this interview, uh, can you, some, just one of you, describe what the education climate is like here in Wilmington? In, in, Oh boy. oh boy. You want to take a crack at that uh, one? I will. How about you? Because we're. <laughs> sure. You go and or then how I'll unique, follow up. How unique is the education is, climate here? I have a mouthful, but I'll let, I'm long winded, so I'll let oh, you yeah, go and I'll follow up. I mean, I think up. we struggle so, with a lot of those issues that, that um, are plaguing urban centers nationally. I think what, you know, we have a very fragmented, what's unique here is that our city is split across four school districts. So that's like four touch points. Um, of decision makers, even at the most local level. That's really uh, difficult to contend with when you're you know, just sort of a regular person trying to make sure that your school is effective. I mean, of course you can interact with your school, but that school board yeah. is making a lot of decisions. Um, 
And so in Wilmington, you can move a block and go from one set of policies to some very different policies um, that could really trip up your child's educational trajectory. So that's something that's definitely unique. And, and then what about and you, Eugene? What, you what I would say is it also, it this when you talk, it's such a big, broad question because it deals with everything from the child in the neighborhood of Wilmington that doesn't know how to choice into, the mother mm -hmm. or father doesn't know how to choice into a good, a good school district or school for them, mm -hmm. um, to the funding issues that we have down in Dover when mm -hmm. um, we're pulling funding from those who need it the most. So mm -hmm. yeah. there's, and there's so much in between that, um, that scope. So uh, we have a variety of issues to work on, but we need to make sure that we're continuously training people to be advocates mm -hmm. and working collectively in order okay. to get things done. Well, that does it for first person. Thank you so much, Eugene Young and Tizzy, also known as Elizabeth Lockman, Director of PACE. Best of luck with the initiative. Thank, Thank you. you.